Welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs that sell. And be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I want to show you how I created this listing or this design and talk a little bit about this. This is a very popular style that I've seen all over Etsy. Um, this specific one is for football, but I have seen this for everything. And so what the style is, is essentially just those line drawings that are scattered around kind of like a collage style. And so this one specifically is for football and I made it so that you could personalize it with a name and a number. But I have seen these done with like books and reading, with other sports, with travel. I mean, you name it, pick a niche and you can kind of do this style. I've seen it specifically with the blue line drawings, though I see no reason why you couldn't be creative and make those line drawings any color that you like. Um, but essentially, it's just a matter of kind of hodgepodge collaging in different graphics. Um, and it's very popular right now for whatever reason. If you can find a way that you can personalize it, that just takes it one step further because Etsy loves personalization. Um, and so something like this would be great for a football mom um, who's cheering on her kid. Um, and so I'm gonna just show you how I made this real quick, super easy. Um, what we're gonna do is just jump right over to Canva. And I'm going to start with a blank um, design. So we're going to go to custom size. I usually use 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That ensures that when it prints, it prints at above a 300 DPI. Now, normally I optimize my design for the darker colors as dark colored shirts do tend to sell better. However, if I am optimizing for a specific design style or holiday, I may opt to switch that. So for this one, it specifically is done, I've seen it with the white shirts with the blue lines and the white shirts. So that's what I'm gonna do here. If I was doing something for like St. Patrick's Day and I wanted to design for specifically a green shirt or for Halloween and specifically an orange shirt, I would do that. Otherwise I do tend to optimize my designs for like black and dark heather gray as I do find that those are the colors that sell the most. But anyways, starting with just white. What we are going to do is we're going to start looking for line drawings or simple drawings within a specific niche. Now, I showed you guys football, so I'll go ahead and do that, but it doesn't have to be football. Again, this can be anything. It doesn't have to be a sport. It could be a hobby. It could be baking. It could be reading. I mean, it could literally be any niche at all. What we're going to do is go up to elements. And I just typed in football and started there. And for the beginning, I'm sort of brainstorming. So I'm pulling up anything that sort of works or anything that's in the realm that might work. So what I'm looking for is line drawings like that. So that pulls up and what I can see is that there's other ones. So I can go to see all. And I think this is actually the one that I used. I liked that a little bit better, but there's a bunch more. Um, and it pulls up even more things, but you know, like here's a football that I could use. Here's uh, cheerleading because people do cheer for, you know, um, football. So you might add that. Um, let's see, refs, helmets. These are all giving me ideas of things that I might want to include. A lot of that kind of stuff. So let's go back. Again, right now it's just brainstorming and I can sort of pick what I like. So I'm not super fond of this football. This football might be a little bit better. It's got more of that line style and then it's gonna pull up magic recommendations. And I can see, oh look, here's a helmet. I do like that helmet there. Kind of cuts off the end of the helmet. I'm not sure I like that, but I'm sure there'll be other helmets. Here's a trophy. So let's say maybe I wanted a trophy to be included. I could do that. Um, here's other trophies, so maybe I wanted more of a wide trophy instead of that narrow trophy. And you can see how we can just sort of start playing around, grabbing things. Obviously, you see things for other sports there, too. Anything else we might want for football? Uh, the uprights look pretty cool, so I might want to include some of those football uprights. Here's another helmet. This one I liked better because it wasn't cutting off the edge of the helmet. Um, it pulled up some more stuff. So here I've got like that number one fan finger that looks kind of cool. I've got the upright. So here's a simple upright. And so you can see how all we're doing is just going ahead and picking things that look cool and, you know, throwing them in there. Here's a different fan finger. Um, so all sorts of stuff. 
and we can keep going. And I'm just brainstorming to start with. So anything that kind of pops into your mind, you can do a specific search for. Um, so you kind of got to know your niche a little bit um, to know what might work well. So let's say they're practicing maybe a whistle, like a coach's whistle. Let's see if I can get that to come up so I can pick any whistle I like. Here's a whistle. That's a cute line drawing one. Let's say maybe a cheerleading because they're going to cheer. Maybe I just put cheer and see what comes up. So I've already got like that there, but there might be signs like like that. I don't know what we would call that, but that might be something that we would want to add. Um, like number one or go or whatever. We could put touchdown. See if they have any words. Sometimes they have words that you can include. There's a says touchdown. There's a trophy. There's some stars. You can put some stars on there. Typically, it's going to be women that wear this. So if you want to incorporate stars or stuff, you can. Here's a ticket. Oh, ticket. That's an idea. So we could add, you know, tickets. And so I'm just getting ideas. And this is how I kind of do that. There we go. There's tickets again line drawing let's go ahead and go with stars sure um see what i've got here for star star outline so maybe something like that there's some stars um maybe a banner maybe not that kind of a banner i'm looking for something that would be like cheering goal maybe i put goal that might work goal Anyways, not really finding what I want, but you get the idea. So now I've got all of these elements. So what I'm actually going to do is take all of the elements off of the page. So once I kind of have grabbed a bunch of different things, I'm going to pull them all off the page. And then what I'm going to do is close this. And we're going to go to where it says recently used, see all. And it's going to pull everything you up, up that you used here. So now it's all in a place where I can see it and put it on in an easy way. I also know that I want to add some words in there too. So I'm going to pull up a text box and maybe I'm going to go ahead and put touchdown and touchdown. I'm going to have kind of really big sort of in the middle here. So maybe even angle it a little bit, touchdown. And I'm going to have to come up with a font. Again, you can pick any font that you want. I've been doing this one a lot lately, so it's pretty easy. Touchdown. like that and then maybe i pull up another text box and on this other text box i'm going to put like goal and maybe an exclamation point and maybe that comes down here someplace it doesn't have to be that big either and then up here another text box here's where i could put in the personalization so you can pick any word that you want or any name that you want i should say it doesn't matter because if it's personalized, they're going to give you the name and the number. But let's say I wanted to go with Scott and number eight. And I do want to bring that letter spacing down a little bit. I can't see. I hate when it does that. But Scott and number eight is there. Do the letter spacing a little closer. There we go. So something like that. Maybe I angle it. And Scott can be in the corner here. And then I'm going to start adding some of these things in. So it doesn't matter where I put them. Here I've got this one. I might keep it like right there. Looks cool. I've got my uprights. Maybe I bring my upright here. Something like this. Maybe I bring my touchdown over. I need a football. Let's go with this football here. I want to make it look like a collage. So everything has to be sort of different sizes as and in different locations. So maybe that's a little bit bigger than I want. So I want the football maybe to be here. And then I'm just sort of playing with where I'm putting everything. Goal, maybe here, maybe I angle goal that way. And again, I keep playing. I want a helmet. Maybe the helmet goes over here. Shrink it down. Again, maybe I angle that helmet a little bit. It doesn't have to be anything extreme. There's a whistle, coach's whistle. That might look good here. Or maybe even like something like that would work. A trophy or 
the little like horn that they scream into maybe up here you know again i can have it going any which way maybe like this and i can even maybe put the word go in it something like that maybe some of the stars here and so you can see how i'm just picking them and putting them wherever i want something there the tickets shrink those down bring those tickets over here maybe angle the tickets this way a little bit shrink those down a little bit more or maybe just move my goal over and so you can see the way that this is coming i got room for a trophy maybe this trophy here i could either put it down here or up here Maybe even the trophy here and the whistle down there. I mean, so it's something like that. You really are just sort of throwing things in hodgepodge and trying to just make them fit wherever. And it doesn't matter which way you have it going. The idea is just create a hodgepodge. And then once you get it the way you want it, I want all of these to be a blue color. So I would go ahead, take all of these, select the blue that I want, change all. Let's change the words here to blue too. Change this to blue. Change this. Everything I can, I can go ahead and change to the blue shade that I want. And so something like that. So that's essentially what we're doing. This is a very, like I said, popular design style and you can play with it as much as you want, but you're just combining line drawings, angling them. Nothing needs to be too squared off. Um, again, you want it to look sort of random. I could go ahead and yeah, pull up a text box here. Maybe just put the word go. I'm thinking of putting go in here and maybe making that just a little bit of a sports, sports font, sports world would work fine. I can shrink that way down and angle it so that it looks like it's gonna go right there with that little horn thing. Again, shrink it down some more, angle it, so something like that. Now I could add more words too. I could put win, fight, you know, add any extra things. So you just want it to look hodgepodge. That's about it. Once you've got it, and if you've got it titled, you would just go ahead, hit share, download. It's a transparent background. It's a PNG. You hit download. It's ready to go. This is super simple. You just want to put it on something white. I've seen this specifically with like t-shirts, sweatshirts, clothing apparel. Now there's no reason you couldn't put this on like a tote bag or anything else. Um, and so again, be as creative as you want with it. And again, you can do this for as many different niches as you want. It's pretty popular style and it's just sort of that collage style. And by making it a little bit more personalized, that's just one more way that you can go ahead and try to sell it with personalization. So I know this is a fast video because it's just an easy thing you guys can do. I just wanted you thinking about it and seeing how you could do it um, and do it pretty quickly. If you have questions, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. Um, if you have video requests, you can put those in the comment section below too. Um, I'll try to get you added to my list. Um, YouTube now has memberships, so you can be a member of the channel and get special emojis, and there could be other things coming up in the future. So if you want to sign up for memberships, you guys can do that. I also have a beginner's course, so if you are brand new to print on demand, and want to know how to get started i have a course on etsy that i sell on sale for like 20 bucks and it covers everything from start to finish it even has exclusive videos showing you how to set up an etsy shop from scratch so if you're interested you can check that out um, and because you guys were so patient and you did wait until the end of the video i do have another five bonus niches for you So without any more waiting, these are your five bonus niches and I've got some more Christmas niches for you. So niche number one, Holiday Spirits Cocktail Club. 
Number two, it's never too early for Christmas. Number three, bruh, it's Christmas. Number four, nice until proven naughty. And then number five, I like them real thick and sprucey. And that's, of course, Christmas trees. So I guess um, I'm betting you guys can come up with some great ways to design for these. Again, be as creative as you want. I hope you guys are continuing to learn new skills and, you know, grow your portfolio. I hope your sales are doing great. Most of all, I hope you guys are having fun and continuing to learn. And I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.